I'll get over you. I know I will. Wow, I'm twisted up. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another vlog. I've possibly parked on the busiest car park in the world and started vlogging. Why have I done that? First of all, I just wanted to say thank you for all the lovely birthday wishes on my last vlog. I had the nicest time in Whitby ever. I feel like I'm Whitby's number one fan and I just need to like calm down a little bit because ever since I came back, I'm just telling everybody how much they need to go to Robin Hood's Bay or Whitby. It was just the most chilled break ever um, and exactly what I needed. Sorry if I'm squinting. It is so nice today, the weather. It actually seems like we're going to start getting something else other than wind, rain, miserable, damp, dark, gloomy weather. And I'm absolutely loving it. It's Saturday afternoon and I thought we could just spend the evening together. One of my oldest friends has just had her baby. Um, it's the 20th today and she had him on the 17th by C-section um, and she's actually home already with him. So I've got a card here. I'm not going to go around and like in pause and try and meet him. He's called Theodore. <laughs> I'm sure she's just in her little newborn bubble and just wants to like soak it all up. But what I thought I would do, because I'm free and not doing anything else, is pop into a nest, see what flowers they've got. Um, maybe just go and drop some flowers on a doorstep in the card. It's very, very cute. I can't remember where I got it from. It was weeks ago that I picked that up. Possibly Sainsbury's because I love Sainsbury's cards and I usually get all my cards from there. Just says congratulations on the birth of your baby boy yeah i just thought that would be a really nice way to spend this nice sunny afternoon i just fancy a little drive out and she lives about 40 minutes drive away from me so perfect any excuse to go and have a look in mns to be fair mns never let me down for flowers so i'm hoping that they've got some nice white flowers with some like blue stocks in there or some blue thistle for the baby boy theme let's go and have a look and see what they've got was pretty shocking to be honest it looked like they had loads of nice flowers but they were all very pink and when I looked closely at the leaves they were all spotty and just a bit diseased to be honest so anyway trust me to pick to go to the busiest car park like I said when a football match had just finished and it's right near the football ground I spent about 20 minutes sat in traffic just to get from m &S to Tesco but Tesco Tesco was okay I got what I was looking for. That's a bit more like it. Um, oh, they smell amazing as well. Um, but they've got like the little blue touches in there that I really wanted. So I'm hoping that she's going to love these when she opens the door and sees them on her doorstep. I'll write at the card now and then set off. Um, put it in the sat nav. It takes me about 45 minutes to get there. So it'll be 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back, and then we'll get home and make some tea. Guess what? There's been a big fat change of plan. I didn't want to drop the flowers off. I could not bear to sit in traffic any longer. I left Tesco and do you know what I thought? This isn't going to be too bad. Yeah, I've been sat in traffic for a little bit, but Backstreet Boys has just started playing, quit playing games. Quit playing games with my heart. And I thought, do you know what? We can salvage this little drive out. It's going to be good. Next thing, the poor pole fly past me um, and it just all got very, very stressful. And I had to keep moving for blue flashing lights. Whilst I'm wanting them to get to their emergencies, it stressed me out when it happened for the third time. So I was just like, Do you know what? It's not meant to be tonight. Stick them flowers in some water, take them tomorrow. <laughs> the thought was there. There's me acting like I'm a really good friend and I'm going out my way. I didn't end up doing it in the end. Just call me half a job, Helen. I'm gonna make some tea and my HelloFresh box has arrived. So I'm gonna have a HelloFresh meal. I'm sure I ordered some um, quick recipes for this week, so I mean, I'm ravenous. Let's hope we've got a 20 minute one in here. We should have. I am super excited to say that I'm working with HelloFresh again. I mentioned HelloFresh in most of my vlogs because I am a customer and I use them a lot. So when I'm doing like what I eat in a day and things like that, you know, I buy my own boxes and um, and I generally keep the recipe cards and keep using them over and over again. So a lot of what you see me cooking is like 
from one of my old HelloFresh recipe cards. So I have got a new discount card actually for HelloFresh, which I will pop on screen now, as well as the QR code. Click the link in the description box, which will take you to the offer, and you'll get 60% off your first box, plus 20% off your next two months worth of boxes, plus free dessert for life as well. The first meal that I've got is an oven baked bacon and mushroom risotto. It's a calorie smart one, so it'll be under 650 calories for that. I've got a drawer behind me full of old recipe cards. So once I've made this, I can keep referring back to it. You get six steps on the back, um, which are really simple and easy to follow. You're making an amazing meal, but you don't have all the mess that usually comes with having to buy 5,000 ingredients with loads of stuff left over because everything's pre-portioned up as well. Um, that's one thing I absolutely love about HelloFresh. It just doesn't feel like hard work. If you are someone that likes cooking and finding new recipes, but you don't like hassle, then HelloFresh is definitely for you. The next meal we've got is a 21 day aged rump steak with peppercorn sauce, garlic mash and broccoli. That is another calorie smart one as well. It's got 578 calories in that meal. That looks so nice. I think we're going to have that tomorrow. For tonight, I want this because I've had this recipe before and it is so good. Um, it's the Chamula spiced lamb and rice with harissa and mint yogurt. A bit of me. You know I love that other harissa bulgur wheat recipe from HelloFresh. Well, this is quite similar apart from it's got lamb in it. Um, so it isn't a veggie option, but so good. I've had this one before. This one takes 20 minutes. And again, it's under 650 calories. So ideal for me with my like health goals that I've got going on at the minute. It made my food shop this morning so much easier knowing that I've got at least three meals boxed off that I don't need to think about. And I know they're gonna be good as well. I don't think I've ever made anything from HelloFresh that Tom hasn't said is 10 out of 10. So yeah, let's get cooking. <laughs> this recipe. I shouldn't eat standing up, that's how I get indigestion. Let's go sit down. Britain's got talent starts tonight. A good night at telly, that's what I want. Baby reindeer. The word disturbing doesn't cut it. Although everyone was talking about the end and I don't really understand how the end is any weirder than the rest of it to be honest. Oh, I love it when a beard does that. When she wakes up and goes all <laughs> to one side. She's so tired. She went out on a really long walk um, this afternoon with Tom and um, our nephew who stayed over last night. I'm still watching Britain's Got Talent. This guy here has just been doing impressions. But he's been doing Ron and Keaton. Na 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 na, fade it, fade it, fade it. You get the gist. He's also done M People. That song. What have you done today to make you feel proud? That song gives me the heebie-jeebies. It just reminds me of being in secondary school, which I hated with passion. 
every time you walked into chapel, that song would be playing. There was that and, oh, search for the hero. Search for the hero inside your soul until you find the key to your life. Rubbish song. But he's missed a few good ones that he probably could have learned, like Sophie Liz Baxter, my speciality. I'm not sure I get my way. Take me home. Take me home. Oh, it's gonna happen anyway. What about um Texas? I feel the same about you. And you can tell me your reasons, but it won't change my feelings. I feel the shame. She's like, shh, 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 don't you? Um, Lisa Stansfield. Been around the world now, yeah, yeah. I can't find my boob. She's very like, baby, I don't know when, I don't know why. Why it's gonna win, I don't know where you can be. My baby. But I'm gonna find him. Britain's got talent. Helen's got talent. Note to self, sort out pyjama drawer before it collapses. I think we're gonna go for these babies tonight. Amazon, Jeff Avenue dupes. Let's do some skincare together, why not? These are the PJs of choice. My new Amazon ones. I did leave them linked in the last vlog, but I'll link them down below again, they're so comfy. Quite long, very comfortable, really nice material. No idea what it's made out of, but it's stretchy, so a little bit wafty on the arms. But yes, um, it's time to get it feeling a little bit more zen in here. Gonna do some skincare. I've just been listening to Sabrina Carpenter and I am obsessed with watching her Coachella performance. Isn't she just literally something else? My new fave. Let's get this lit and get it feeling like a spa in here. This candle smells amazing. You can just buy the refills for them. The candle itself is eight pounds from M&S and I know I wasn't M&S's biggest fan earlier on when it came to the flowers. However, this range in particular is star. Most of them smell really good though. Is amazing. Um, I've got the hand wash as well. Over there, it just looks really nice, I think, with like neutral decor a bit spa like still loving by the way my little trinket dish from um aldi that was one pound ninety nine they've still got these in just think that looks really cute in my own suite um and good for when i want to take my rings off when i'm doing tan and stuff um right we're on a we're on odd wristbands I don't know where the matching ones have gone, but I found them in my suitcase from when I went away, so. Time to get this makeup off. I am running very, very low on this. I hate rebuying it, but I can't not have it. It's just the best. Although, I'm naughty because I don't double cleanse and I know I should. Um, because I know that the first cleanse is like to get the makeup off and then the second cleanse is to um, properly clean your face. What's a good cleanser that goes with Elemis? Because I know that this is very good as like a makeup remover. What's these brows? Disappear before your eyes. Then I think I need another gentle still cleanser but that is gonna like deep clean my face after using that. So if you've got any recommendations, please let me know. I also need a nice night cream because at the minute I'm just using moisturizer. Any skincare recommendations are welcome. Ooh, it's going in my mouth a bit. Think about me every night, oh, isn't that sweet, I guess so. I'm working late, cause I'm a singer. Oh, that's one thing I knew I needed to talk to you about. Kin, Kin is back. If you haven't watched the first two series, I'm quite new to it. I only watched the first two series a few, well, a couple of weeks ago, but the new series is coming on the 1st of May. I saw it advertising before. So exciting.
by the way, whilst I'm just thinking out loud, I think this vlog is probably going to be quite a lot shorter than my normal vlogs because you know my normal ones are like 25 30 minutes ish now and they're either like a full day with me or they're a few days with me and this is obviously just an evening with me so it's going to be a lot shorter i do feel like it was quite nice and easy to film this video so if you want to see more videos like this maybe i could get a few more out there um because at the minute I'm uploading once a week, aren't I? And not on a specific day, which I just, I can't commit to a specific day just because I work full time and I have a husband who hates the camera. <laughs> so it's not easy. I'm just wetting this. Now that that's turned into a bit of an oil, I've just got a little bit of water on my fingers and I'm just turning it into that milky consistency that it goes to which I love even though that went in my mouth and tasted disgusting you can be like you can put it on your eyes and it doesn't sting yeah, that's kind of... do you know another thing I've been watching and this is really random because I feel like everyone would have watched this about a million years ago but manifest manifest there's like three series of it isn't there um, I don't know when the first one came out, but I know it was quite a long time ago. <laughs> so far I'm up to like episode 5 or 6 of the first series and I'm a bit like, how are they going to stretch this out over multiple series because it's already a bit far-fetched. But I'm enjoying it nonetheless and I keep watching the next episode and it's actually quite a nice one to have on when I'm going to Bobo's, even though I really need to stop having the TV on when I go to bed I need to start reading or something before I go to bed to try and chill me out because I keep having recurring nightmares and I don't think watching Killer in My Village or stuff about plane crashes is going to help that situation. That'll do. Next I'm going to try this simple reviving under eye hydrogel mask which is supposed to reduce puffiness appearance in five minutes water boosting let's give it a go jo. i've got the little eye patches on now these feel so nice um i like that they're the simple ones because i know they're not gonna cause me any cause my skin any jip really it's like vegan plant-based vitamin b no minimal oils no alcohol no harsh chemicals that upset your skin no color or perfume um feels so nice so these have been on now for about five minutes i'm going to peel them off still dark circles of hell but it doesn't claim to get rid of dark circles so it just says like dab in whatever's left but there's nothing left i'm just going to moisturize now and uh put some filled by molly may self tanning drops on my face as well because i'm looking rather pale um, I'm just using the Skin Food Light Walida one from Boots. Aren't these wristbands a godsend, by the way? There's nothing worse than water running down your arms and on your pyjamas. It makes you not want to do your nighttime skincare. If these are still cheap on Amazon, I'll link them. Um, but you can get them off TikTok shop as well. I got mine from Amazon. Um, I've just done like a couple of drops there. The Botox has kicked in now, look, like, I've still got movement in my eyebrows, which I really don't like the f completely frozen look on me anyway. I mean, I've never, I've never done it because I've always asked when I've had Botox, like, please, will you just make sure that I still have a little bit of movement? Um, but yeah, I've noticed a big difference. This lighting is absolutely shocking though. Well, I definitely, definitely should have taken a bit of time shaving off that moustache, but never mind. One thing I'm really trying to stay on top of at the minute is using cuticle oil around my nails because even though it's not winter, my cuticles get so dry. Um, I think it's when the weather changes, to be honest. Um, just all these little self-care bits that we should do for ourselves. That we never do really um 
something I've kept on top of now for the last couple of weeks and I'm seeing a massive difference. So it is just nearly half nine now and I'm gonna settle down in front of the TV with a cup of this um, glow tea. I'm loving this at the minute. Um, it's the Twinings one, so nice. It's got like cucumber, strawberry, aloe vera in it. It's so, so nice to have before bed. Um, either that or peppermint tea I'm having at the minute but I've really enjoyed filming this video thank you so much for watching everyone um don't forget to have a look at the link in the description box to HelloFresh the link will take you straight to the offer or again you can scan this QR code on screen and thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video yeah I will see you very soon in another vlog bye bye Mwah.